and we are in my studio. It is a um, cold, sunny day outside in Seattle today. It's freezing cold down here, which is why I have a really heavy sweater on. And the reason I'm sharing this video with you today is because I um, am inviting you to come along with me on my KonMari journey in my studio. A lot of you probably have seen or heard about um, the Netflix series Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Um, I have her books and have known about her method for several years but have not actually put it into practice. Um, we started doing a little tidying up in our main house which is um, upstairs and really like the process we're really very happy with the results and um, are going to continue on but the thing that i was most confused about is how do you apply that sort of thing to the studio how do you decide in a work environment what brings you joy and how do you decide what to get rid of so that's when i decided to enlist the help of a consultant and so um, I contacted Tricia Fiddler of Haywood Park Collective in California. She was a consultant on the Netflix series, and she's going to help me. And because I'm in Seattle and she's in California, we're trying something virtually. So I, thanks to all of modern technology, I'm able to give her a... Uh, tour of my studio, let her know where the problem areas is, are, and things like that. So I've gotten my first assignment. My first assignment was actually two things. Um, the first assignment was to go through the clothes in my studio. Now clothes in my studio is a very quick purge or sort through because um, it would be things like my aprons or um, sweaters that I have over my chair or things like that. That's pretty easy to, to do. So I've done that first first assignment. My first big assignment after that is books. And what you see behind me are um, floor to ceiling bookshelves along one wall of my studio. And if you've seen the, um, the tour of my studio, um, which I'll post in this blog post so that you can see, but, um, we have four to ceiling bookshelves here. We as a family like books. Books are very important to us. And, uh, I would say that 90% of the family books are stored here. Kid books. My husband has books on cycling, on motorcycles, um, photography books. And as well, I keep all of my craft books and things here. But it's really important for me to go through all of these books, which is what I'm doing now. I've already spent about um, four or five hours on it. And this was actually the perfect week to do this because we had some cancellations and weather delays in Seattle because of the snow. And I was sort of stuck at home. So... I decided to um, do a little conduing in my um, studio. So I can show you how this is what's left um, of the books. So these books here, all of these and all those around there are going. I've already got about four boxes that I need to take, but um, those are going, and I still have a few more to go through. But what you see, these shelves were floor to ceiling filled with books. Now I can actually find what I'm looking for, um, and I can actually put other things other than um, books on the bookshelves, which is really nice. So here's what I've done to prepare for this so far. I found a Pinterest image, or a couple of images, of my ideal <clears throat> studio slash workspace, what that looks like to me. And Tricia explains that it's very important for us to have something that we visualize or that we can look to 
um, throughout the process of going through all of these categories and conduing um, our space, so to speak. So I found that. Um, each of these books, I it, the books that belong to me, I look at them and decide what about them was important to me when I bought them or when I acquired them. Is it still important to me? Is it something I would like to take into the future? Um, is it something that really feels like me? Um, you go through that with each book and really think about it without getting too distracted with looking at the actual book, but just thinking about what the book represents. And um, I've been assured by Tricia that you can keep with confidence anything that you're not ready to get rid of. This whole system is not about paring down to just a couple of things. It's really about deciding what of each category that you're going through makes you happy, it, it uh, brings you joy, and really feels like something that you want to carry with you to the next phase of your life. And I would say that my husband and I are really thinking about the next phase of our life because our kids uh, are moving on in the next few years. My youngest is a junior in high school, and he's going to be moving to college. I have one already at college. And do we want the physical and mental weight of all of these books to go with us to our next phase? And the answer was an emphatic no. So I've done a lot of purging. I'll share pictures of the finished uh, bookshelf, but that's where I'm at now. I'm going to document all of this with you guys so that you can see what is uh, actually happening in a real life process of conmarrying a studio. Um, once I do these bookshelves, the category of books can be crossed off my list and we move on to the next thing and I will share a video with you um, for what happens for the next thing, what the next assignment is. Um, and I want to um, thank Trisha so much for her help on this. Thank you guys for following along. Um, I've created a section in my Instagram stories that you can see how this goes and follow along with me. Um, I also have um, a hashtag WiseCraftConMari so that you can uh, follow along with that. And we will see you at the next phase of the process. So thank you.